Minnesota, so you know some some organizations don't like the, the injured players around, but I like them around because they can offer some leadership and offer some uh, you know some knowledge, you know during a game with different things that they see or that that we don't see, and, you know especially like you know like I said Lance and Altuve and, and Michael, they're, you know they're full of knowledge. Your thoughts on Chaz? He shared with the media things are looking pretty good for him. Chaz, I mean, because he had the vision issues, so he feels like he's going to be okay. Could be available tonight. Your thoughts on that? Well, I'm not the doctor. You know, my thoughts are I got to go with what the, what the doctor and the, and, the, and the media staff say. You know what I mean? Uh, vision's so important. You know, you can't take a chance and losing sight of a projectile going 90 plus miles an hour. And, you know, get a hit upside the head or anything, but you know, we'll see. I mean, his vision got to be right first. How do you feel the managing baseball a LA, uh, day of uh, like today? Well, just you know, I feel it every day. You know, like I wear almost my Jackie Robinson socks from last year every day, but I got some new ones on today because in uh, Minnesota I got too close to the to that heater. And, Something hot on my leg and my pants and burnt socks. I got the hot foot. <laughs> Dusty, this day comes every year, but it's uh, it's always great for to mark this day, isn't it? Oh yeah, I mean big time. I know a lot of people think this day is tax day, but this day to me is Jack Robinson day. So uh, yeah. My roommate Ralph Gar throwing out the first pitch today, so that's, that's that's pretty cool. I like to I like to win on these days when we need to win. Are you gonna catch it? Maybe. I don't know if he can still throw it or not. <laughs> yeah, he can. But you'll go out there. I think so. What is it like? I mean, you're kind of one of the closer in terms of six degrees of separation to, to Jackie and some of the legends of that era. What is it like being, you know, one of those guys that I'm almost a memory keeper of, of that part of baseball? Well, I don't feel like it really. You know, I feel very fortunate and blessed to be the generation right after Hank, and Hank was the generation after after uh, Jackie. It hadn't been that long though, really. You know, it seems like it, but no. Uh, of course, the time in history is really a very short period of time, you know, so it's, uh, um, you know, guys ask me questions about, or they say, oh, yeah, I mean, some, sometimes they mock it by, and, you know, everybody's throwing 95 to 100 now or whatever it is. Guys, one guy told me on another team with a catcher standing up when I played, and, you know, but I tell them, hey, man, they had some bad boys back in that day. They had less teams and more people played baseball. And the difference is, is that, you know, we it was a combination of football and baseball where you ran over the catcher, you, you, you knocked the second baseman down, you, you got knocked down, you know what I mean? A knockdown pitch was a major difference between now and, and before. Because there are some guys that they can intimidate and they find out, they find out you can be intimidated they knock you down unless you couldn't hit. Because if you could hit, that was a compliment to get knocked down. You know? uh, because they always told me that they don't hit out men, guys that they think they can get out. You know? and so, uh, yeah, I mean, I played, I was right after one of the greatest eras in, in baseball. Not to my era, but the era before me was. Frank and Clemente, and I had Clemente hat on today, and Peter Pinson, and some bad boys, Willie Mays, and the list goes on and on. So, Starville, K Line, Leisure, some bad boys. What is Brantley doing? Is he doing anything? Brantley, is he red? Yeah, uh, yeah he, you know, he, 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 uh, he hit uh, live yesterday. I'm not sure, I haven't checked his schedule today, so. Yeah, I mean, he's ramping up. Dusty, do you think it's your responsibility to tell the youngsters that have questions about Jackie Robinson you're going to have to give history lessons as you go along here? 
Well, I try to give history lessons all the time. You know, or like, you don't know how many are really listening, but, but or understand. But Hank told me that if you don't understand, at least, you know, retain what you're being told. And I mean, that's the whole thing, retention. And then someday you can, you know, the light might come on like it did for me. Hank told me some things that happened five years later that I remember. I wish I could have remembered it the next day. But, you know, sometimes you don't see things. Sometimes, well, once you see it, then you should forever see it. Did you ever meet Jackie? That's a dumb question, but did you? I met his family. I was there for Jackie Robinson. Um, you know, when UCLA dedicated the stadium, with the Dodgers, some of those Dodgers played an exhibition game against against UCLA. And, you know, I know Rachel and Max and his kids. And, um, you know, I remember that day because I just had a new Porsche. Bought a new Porsche, I parked it right by the side. And then my first at bat, I got hit in the back. So I just said, I ain't even go to first base. I just went and got in my car. And went. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> what was the, uh, the At least you didn't hit your Porsche. <laughs> no. Yeah. What was the most impactful thing that Willie or Hank told you about Jackie? Um, how Jackie motivated. Hank, especially Hank, I think saw him somewhere in Mobile or something, and then that, that motivated him to to uh, you know want to be a professional baseball player. And, uh, I don't know, kind of what he stood for, and when he gave his speech in Cincinnati about seeing an African American coach at third base and. Um, uh, being an African American man, I'm a byproduct of that. You know what I mean? So uh, I would like to think he, you know, would be proud of me so far. So I'm not done. Yet. All right. Thanks, Dustin. Thanks, sir.